Hello dear viewers, myself Nasser and you are watching Mr. Zoologist YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about role of systematics in biology. What is systematics? The study of biologically diversity and classification. Diversity means how are species diverse in their function and in their body forms. Classification of living organisms by evolutionary relationship which means to say when we classify organisms on the base of their common ancestors or their forefathers that is evolutionary relationship classification was first introduced by carlos linnaeus he was known as the father of taxonomy or classification from 1770 to 1778 and was his birth and death date swedish naturalist developed the modern taxonomic classification system that is called binomial nomenclature Linear system of classification uh, chimpan chimpanzee or gorilla has a classification system kingdom includes animalia phylum includes chordata class includes mammalia order includes primates family includes hominidae genus include gorilla species includes gorilla gorilla revised linear system division eukarya kingdom animalia phylum chordata subphylum vertebrata superclass tetrapoda class mammalia subclass theria infraclass eutheria order primates superfamily anthropoida family hominida subfamily pongina genus gorilla species gorilla gorilla subspecies gorilla gorilla beringa what is binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature is a classification system that gives a species two names one is generic name or genus name second is species name genus plus species equal to binomial nomenclature examples rana catasbina bullfrog rana is genus name catasbina is species name same like that turdus uh, migratorus that is american robin turdus is genus and second one is species name homo sapiens homo is genus name and sapien means uh, humans so that is the scientific name of humans mucosa domestica that is a house fly subspecies sometimes included gorilla gorilla beringae that is a mountain gorilla scientific name what is an animal basically animal uh, may be prokaryotic or eukaryotic prokaryotic means uh, they do not have a well defined nuclear envelope around their genetic material whereas in eukaryotic cell is divided into organelles prokaryotic have also organelles but they have limited number of organelles due to their uh, smaller functionality due to their uh, unicellular structure based mechanism body plans whereas eukaryotes mostly have multicellular body plans so they have they, they are vast group of functionality uh, and they have vast number of organelles in their body basically a cell is a structure and functional unit of life but a cell cannot itself perform all the functions cell needs assistance or laborers for its working these laborers are organelles multicellular heterotrophic Heterotrophic means they cannot prepare their own food from simpler inorganic substances. Do not produce own nutrients. Lack cell walls, tissues linked by proteins. They have animals have cell membranes mostly. Few of them have cell walls. Tissues linked by proteins. Uh, collagen is present in their uh, muscular tissues. Cells often linked by cell junctions. These junctions are called as gap, adhesion, tight. possess electrogenic cells or nerve cells and muscle cells these are contain electrons basically nerve stimulation is a form of traveling of neurons neurons are in the form of electrons so that is a electrogenic or chemical or electrical conduction reproduce sexually means to say that they are each individual is diploid but it transfers its gametes in the form of haploid that gametes may be from the male uh, when it comes from the male that is sperm and when it comes from the female that is egg sperm plus egg fuse or fertilize and zygote is formed that is fertilization next uh, zygote divides into thousands or hundreds of uh, small structure that is called as blastula 
blastula then develops into three layers these are called as mesoderm endoderm and ectoderm that stage is called gastrulation formation of three primary layers is called gastrulation and this stage is called as gastrula next gastrula develops into the larval stage larval is the temporary stage that is intermediate between zyg between embryo and individual next larva when uh, it comes to favorable situations conditions larva develops into adult major evolutionary divergences among animals first is development of tissues second is development of body plans third is development of body cavities and the fourth one is development and origin of the uh, developmental origin of the uh, cilom cilom is a cavity so cavity is developed at the latter most part at the end so first of all development of tissues we are going to look at development of aggregations of similar cells into patterns and layers means to say when similar cells performing a same function are united together they form tissues parasomes for example sponges they have no tissues they lack tissues you metazoa possess true tissues they and they have uh, uh, present tissues in the form of groups of similar cells they can perform a similar function at the same time next is development of body plans pattern of body and structure is first determined that is that means to say the, uh, here we are talking about the cell fate determination number of embryonic cell layers and these are mesoderm ectoderm and endoderm radiata in uh, for example jellyfish hydra in, they have radial symmetry they are diploblastic two germ layers they do not have a mesoderm they only have endoderm and ectoderm bilateria everything else that does not come in the radiata is included in the bilateria they have bilateral symmetry they are triploblastic they have three layers germ layers these are uh, endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm next is development of body cavities a collimates or flat forms they have no body cavities at all a means without coilom yes coilom means cavity sodo coilom means they they have false body cavity for example rotifers round worms body cavity not surrounded by mesoderm or sodo coilom or false coilom next are coilomates everything included or excluded uh, from the coilomates and sodo coilomates are included in the coilomates body cavity is enclosed by the mesoderm developmental origin of the coilom coilomates are divided into two groups based upon pattern of cell cleavage during early development which means to say if cell divides um, radial, uh, radially they may be radial coilom if cell divides bilaterally they are bilateral coilom when cell development fate is determined how the cell is formed how, how the coilom is formed how the digestive tract is formed during gastrulation protostomes mollusks earthworms insects etc they are protostomes spiral cleavage occurs in them cell division is diagonal to vertical axis as you are looking in the diagrams the division is along the vertical axis determinant cleavage that is predetermined which part is going to become the which organ development due to issues determined very early in the cleavage it means to say, it means to say every um, blastomere of formed from the zygote have a predetermined fate and that which part it will form in the near future schizocoelus means to say coilum forms by separating solid masses of mesoderm these masses of mesoderm are called as schizocoelus blastopore forms mouth in the protostomes deuterostomes example the starfishes vertebrates radial cleavage occurs in them cell division at right angle to a vertical axis indeterminate cleavage uh, occurs in them there is no predetermined fate of in any cell coilom forms mesoderm layer budding from arch and tron these are called as intracellular here blastopore forms anus next is parasoa or phylum porifera sponges are included little cell differentiation occurs in them they are sessile or fixed there is no locomotory organs are present in them no nerve or muscle cells porous body enables water circulation through the body flow driven by conocytes food collected and digested by amebocytes radiata or phylum cnidaria corals on jellyfishes uh, anemones corals are included in them gastrovessel cavity is present central compartment with single opening two basic body plans polyp they are usually sessile whereas medusa they are in the form of motile radiata phylum cnidaria tentacles arranged around opening to the gastrovascular cavity lined with nematocysts these nematocysts are the 
stinging cells they possess uh, poison which can paralyze the host possess nerve cells forming nerve net no central nervous system is present possess muscle like cells next is phylum tenophora comb jelly similar in appearance to jellyfishes possesses comb like plates of cilia used for locomotion collect food with tentacles covered with coloblast or leather cells in ecolamates they are include phylum platyel means flat worms gastrovascular cavity with one opening true muscle tissue primitive excretory system or water balance sensory organs in head fertile receptors camel receptors central nerve system ganglia in head with respect to ventral nerve cords ecolamates phylum platyel means major classes include turbellaria or planarians free living they are monogyna and trematoda they are flukes or parasites parasites may either be ecto or endo inside the body are endo and outside the body are ecto parasites so study includes tapeworms or parasites they are found inside the intestines phylum rotifera rotifera uh, complete digestive tract is present separate mouth separate anus cerebrocolumic fluid acts as circulatory system cilia lining crown draw water into the mouth nematoda nematoda round worms they have complete digestive tract cerebrocolumic fluid acts as circulatory system longitudinal muscle orientation aquatic habitats soils plants and animal parasites protostomes are columnates phylum nemertia proboscis worms a columnate body except for fluid filled sac used to extend proboscis similar excretory sensory nervous system to flat worms complete digestive tract close circulatory system blood confined to vessels in the form of capillaries arteries and veins lophophorate phyla possess lophophore ciliated fold around mouth no head u shaped digestive tract bryozoans sessile they are fixed resemble most hard ex- exoskeleton is present foronoids are horseshoe worms brachiopods are resembling bivalves Phylum Mollusca major classes include Polyplacophora they are chitons uh, class Gastropoda they are snails and slugs class Bivalve are clams oysters mussels etc class Cephalopoda includes octopus squid and nautiluses Phylum Mollusca includes also of muscular foot visceral mass contains organs gills for respiration complete digestive tract with respect to specialized organs open circulatory system mental cavity is present covers visceral mass secretes shell phylum annelida includes segmented worms hydrostatic skeleton is present coelom in repeating segments with alternating longitudinal and circular muscles setae are segmentations and metanephridia for excretion close circulatory system is present several specialized regions in digestive tract are also present cerebral ganglia with ventral nerve tract evolution of brain Major classes include class Oligochaeta earthworms class Polychaeta these are polychaetes class Herodenia these are leeches Phylum Arthropoda specialization of body segments segmented bodies present specialized limbs hard exoskeleton made up of protein and chitin high specialization of sensory organs well developed sensory organs are present antenna in the form of antenna open circulatory system blood is also called as hemolymph as is confined to vessels Uh, Chelicerates, claw-like feeding appendages are present. Lack antenna. Class Arachnida, spiders, scorpions, ticks, mites. Two body segments: cephalo or uh, or or thorax uh, and abdomen. Six pairs of appendages. And these are represent in the uh, Chelicerae pa- pedipalps. Four pair per walking legs extend from cephalo thorax. Book lungs are present. Enhances gas exchange between hemolymph and air. Unirimarians jaw like uh, feeding appendages called as mandible one pair of antenna unbranched appendages class diplopoda millipedes class uh, chelopoda centipedes class insecta insects three body segments head thorax abdomen are present in insects many possess wings specialized digestive system malpigeon tubules for excretion tracheal system for respiration class crustaceans Mandibles are present. Two pair of antenna, branched appendages. Class Crustacea possess gills, salt glands, hemolymph, and salt balance. Groups include isopods. These include examples are pilpugs, uh, copepods. These include cyclops. Decapods include crabs, lobsters, etc. 
Pile of Echinodermata, sea stars, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, adults have radial symmetry, bilateral larva is present, and a skeleton of hard plates, water vascular system used to manipulate tube uh, feed. Phylum codata includes lancelets, tunicates, vertebrates. Characteristics of embryos are possess notochord, longitudinal, flexible rod between digestive tract and nerve cord is called notochord. Possess dorsal hollow, nerve cord, have pharyngeal slits, modified for gaseous exchange, jaw support, have muscular uh, postnatal saw. Invertebrate codates, subphylum urochordata includes tunicates, sessile marine animals. Codate characters seen only in larva. Subphylum is a fellow codata. Examples are lancelets. Subphylum vertebrata characters include a neural crest formation during embryonic development, vertebral column plus skull, pronounced sphalization of uh, uh, sensory and neural apparatus, closed circulatory system. Agenathus uh, lag, hinge jaws, notochord is present throughout life. Uh, Nathosomes uh, possess hinged jaws, uh, notochord replaced by vertebrae, paired appendages, tetrapods. Possess two pairs of appendages. Superclass Ainatha lacked in jaws, notochord present throughout the life, no paired appendages. Lampreys and hagfishes are examples of uh, superclass Ainatha. Superclass Nathosoma, jawed fishes, class chondriches include sharks, rays, cartilaginous skeleton. Class of species include bony fishes, bone skeleton, subclass Actinotariga, ray fin fish, subclass uh, uh, Sarcotariga, these include lobe fin fishes. Superclass tetrapoda or class amphibia characteristic include tetrapods, four limbs, terrestrial environment, terrestrial movement, aquatic larval stage, moist and permeable skin. Endurance includes frogs and toads. Eurodils include salamanders and newts. Sicilians include legless fossorial amphibians. Amphibians class reptilian includes reptiles, scaly, impermeable skin. Amniotes include examples are lay shelled amniotic eggs. Chelonians or uh, testudians include turtles, uh, lapidorians include tartara, snakes, li lizards, archosaurus includes crocodilians, dinosaurs, birds. Class A's includes birds, amniotes, possess feathers, possess wings, flight uh, for uh, uh, flight are modified wings, endothermic, most body heat generated internally. Two circuit circulatory system is present. Class Mammalia includes mammals, possess hair, possess mammary glands, endothermic. Two circuit circulatory system. Most give birth to young one. They are amniotic. Diaphragm for active ventilation of lungs. Groups include monotremes. They lay eggs. Uh, platypuses, acadians, uh, marsupials include embryo complete development in pouch. For example, kangaroos and opossums. Eutheria form placenta. Cats, humans, squirrels are eutherians. Uh, 